Hey guys, it's Tony here. Look at this. Bitcoin is in a sticky situation. Whatever we do right now, break down below this level, break above this level, confirm support, will actually make the future change for Bitcoin. It will drastically change the future for Bitcoin and it can even slow Bitcoin down from reaching higher all-time highs than $67,000. I'll be explaining, guys, where... Are what reasons could we be going down and what reasons that I, I think we could be going up and how far. I'm going to be explaining you guys all that more in this video. So let's get into it and don't forget to watch the video to the end and hit that like button. So let's get into the video. So let's hit it straight off with explaining what's happening here. Because guys, Bitcoin, after my video right here, Bitcoin pumped straight up. In my previous video, I talked about how we could be seeing a dump down too about 56,000 to the 0 0.382 level. But we come from, we went up and after that we just randomly dumped. Now some people think it might be because of this head and shoulders and it's partly true, but we have some bigger and bigger resistance levels that I wanna to talk to you guys. First level, the biggest, is this resistance level right here, this resistance trend line. And this trend line acted as resistance and support forever. And this is actually a bearish thing right now because as long as we're below it, it will be really tough to break. Why? Well, look at this. The history of this trend has been really tough. When it started out right here, September 13, 2021, it actually, we tap support, Bitcoin tap support it. Uh, and then after that, we dumped on the second try. But when we were trying to break through again on resistance, we had to tap it once, twice, three times, four times, and on the fifth time, we actually broke it. So it took us five tries to break through. So then we come, we come for support right here. Then we come for support second time, three, third time, fourth time, and on the fifth time again, we broke it down. And now we actually tapped it again. And I'm not saying we're going to have to tap it like five times before we actually break it. I'm just saying that this is a tough level. This is a tough cookie and we have to break it in order to actually get all time highs unless we wait for November. <laughs> but look at this. We also have another resistance, which is another reason why we come from, we got rejected off of this level. And this is the continuation pattern of the all time high resistance because this is a continuation trend that goes down and we already this we already tapped this trend three times and guys this looks some kind of pattern this makes some kind of pattern and if you guys can spot it good for you look at this we have a descending triangle and that is a bearish pattern now right now I'm going to first talk about the bearish stuff and then I'm going to talk about the bullish stuff so this trend line bearish this this triangle is actually bearish, but there is an exception which is actually bullish. I'll talk about that in the bullish part. Right now, let's talk about the bearish. Because this pattern could actually be taking us down to this level, 52,700. And this is an important level because I don't think we're going to reach it. Why? Well, look at this. Fibonacci retracement. Another reason why we got rejected off of this level. You guys know that when we have trends down, we always have our retracement up. And it usually goes to the 0 0.382, 0 0.5, or 0 0.618. Those three levels are the most important. That's where they usually they go. So we tapped in the middle of the 0 0.5 and 0 0.618. That's when we actually hit the top and started falling down. So we're inside of the golden pocket. And after that, we fell back down. So right now, we could be seeing a dump farther down because usually what happens is an ABC correction. And guys, A, B, C. And we usually don't have this kind of channel. We usually have it go like this halfway, maybe a little bit more, and then down farther. And guys, the way we actually measure, the way I measure is how far we will go depends on the uh, trend. But right now, it kind of looks like we could be seeing the way the trend will go usually using the Fibonacci extended version. And guys, the Fibonacci extended version shows that there is a 1.618 retracement level at 52,000. So guys, this target from this descending triangle, and also guys, some people think that this is an inverse head and shoulders, same target down to here, to 52,100, this head and shoulders right here. Some people think that's it, but I like to go with the triangular patterns more instead of the head and shoulders. And guys, the target is 1.618. But I want to show you guys some reason why I don't think we could actually reach this. If 
we actually go to 52,100. And let me just pull up the Fibonacci retracement level from this low to this high. And I bring you guys this level. This is the 0 0.5 level. Usually when retracements happen. I just explained that to you. And this same thing happens when we're going up. We have a retracement that can go from 0 0.382 to 0 0.5 to 0 0.618. And these retracement guys are important and they keep Bitcoin pumping. So this retracement is fine. Don't be alarmed. But I don't think we'll be going more than 0 0.5. Because here's why. The 0 0.5 level is where this previous higher high is. If we go lower than the higher high, guys, and that is bad, because if we go lower than the higher high, we have lower highs, and that is bad. So as long as we're doing higher highs, that is good, and we will keep pumping, guys. So higher high, higher high when we made the all-time high, but as soon as we, like, in the shorter time frame, we made a lower low, I mean a lower high, we had dumps down. And as soon as we started making higher highs again, we actually started pumping up really fast. So if we go more than 0 0.5 down, which is actually at 53,000, which is about the price prediction, then we could be seeing a dump farther down and maybe even instead of just a retracement, a correction. We could be seeing um, a big correction, maybe even down to like 40,000. But I don't think this will happen, guys, because we could have an exception, because this sometimes happens when the Bitcoin just quickly taps the price. And guys, we could not even just not even take go all the way down to here. I This is just a relative price prediction. So about 52 to 53,000 is where I think we're going to go. And we could go most likely to 53,400 and even a wick down to here. But it has to be a wick. If we get rejected off of the 0 0.5 level from below it, then we could be seeing a gigantic correction down. So this is why I think we, I could be, we could be seeing a, a dump down to here. But it all matters if we break this support level, the $60,000 support level right over here. Because if we confirm support, which we actually are starting to do right now, this is what we have to do. We have to confirm support because if we break through this, guys, the next thing for us to go to is the 0 0.5 level. And that is where I think we could be going. Not the 0 0.382, 0 0.5. But here is something already starting to be bullish because... We have, on the daily time frame, guess what it is? It's the 20-day moving average. This is straight at the support. And this is actually a strong indicator because, guys, this support takes us higher and higher. When we're super high from it, we usually come down and have a retest or practically a retest. Then when we go far away again from it again, we have another retest. And by the way, these periods before, before and after we actually tap are usually about... 12 days long so look this period to this period 15 days this period to this period 12 days of course we have some smaller and some bigger periods but look at this the law the amount that we were actually not tapping was 23 bars so that's double the amount so that is actually a lot so that's why we came to the resistance because we were so far away from this 20 day moving average is that's why we actually dumped and came back to test this that is bullish because when we actually tap this we usually have higher highs and guys if this is our higher high i mean if this is our retracement if this is all it is then we could be seeing a dump i mean a pump up and guys i've been talking about how my prediction in november how we could be seeing a pump all the way to a hundred and fifty thousand dollars that would be amazing if that happened and i believe it will happen it just if we break through this guys it will just slow us down and we will actually start pumping in November because guys, if we continue about this level, by the time we start, it's going to be November 3rd and we could actually start pumping after that. So we have time, guys. We have time to do stuff. We could fall down. We could go up. But guys, I'm not done. This is not the only bullish stuff because guys, the Bollinger Bands also on the 4 hour time frame, if we can for support, they can open. And guys, this is sort of neutral because... If we break the support, if we break this 20 day moving average, we could have a trend reversal, which let me just show you an example. Um, right here, when we went to 64,000, we had this example right here. So we were pumping, we went down to because we were so far away from this daily moving average, we tapped it, we went up, then we went back down, we actually broke it. So after we broke it right here, we went down. And this is interesting because if I go from the swing low to the swing high, 
you guys can see that this is the 0.5 level and for any of those who don't think this is a swing low they can go all the way down to here and that means we tap the 0.382 so depends how you calculate it's the 0 0.5 0 0.382 doesn't matter because these two are gigantic indicators so that means that when we broke this Bollinger Bands we actually went down to the 0 0.382 to the 0 0.85 I mean to the 0 0.382 to the 0 0.5 but we could be seeing the same exact thing right now if we break this 20-day moving average. So it all matters if we actually break or confirm support right now. And guys, if we confirm support, we could be seeing something with this um, descending triangle. Because what if I tell you descending, this descending triangle looks like a pennant and this is an uptrend? Guys, this could be a bullish pennant. If this is the case, then guys... One, the price prediction would be actually breaking out right here, which would take us to 69 to 68,000. And two, the gigantic bullish pennant, and of course this kind of sounds crazy, but the gigantic bullish pennant will take us all the way to $90,000. And this sounds crazy, why? Because that means we're going to start pumping right now. And that is sort of unrealistic. The most realistic thing is for us to go and actually test our all-time high first. So... Guys, we break out, and my target right now is 68 to 69,000 because this is sort of bullish pennant. But I'm not gonna take that um, that price prediction because it's not November yet. And guys, if we confirm support, boom! I think we're gonna get another retest of this resistance level. And guys, it's not that strong. It's already a third tap. Already, this is going to be the fourth tap, so we could be seeing a breakthrough. Because, guys, every single time we tap the resistance, it gets weaker and weaker. We could be seeing a breakthrough. So, I think if we cover support, and it kind of looks like we are covering support off the 20 day, off the Fibonacci retracement level, and instead of going all the way down to 0 0.5, we just pump up and avoid all strategies, tragedies, and we actually go up, we could be seeing a pump all the way to 68. To through 67,000 depends on when we come guys because the longer we stay inside this triangle the lower this price target goes to so guys 69 to 68 thousand dollars is my price prediction if we cover support of course there's always a chance that we could get rejected off of this and then bounce around but either we break down and or break up same thing happens so this is what I think Bitcoin will go to if we break below this 0 0.5 you could be tapping the previous higher high right here at 53,000. If we cover, if we go from support and break through this triangle, we could be seeing a pump up to 69,000 to 68,000. And guys, November, remember price prediction 150,000. We have a lot of time till November. Look at this. We could do so much. We can go down to 0 0.5 and then pump back up if we go by, like, if we keep dumping as how fast on the rate of how fast we are dumping right now but guys this is what i think we're going to be doing if you guys watch the whole entire video and did not skip good for you guys and thank you for watching my video so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to click that post notification bell so you never miss another video see you guys next video bye